juniors. And then he went out in his heat of the European indoors uh, just a few weeks back. But Benati will hand over to Sibilios, Lopez and Acetti. And there is Makwala. What an athlete he is. A best of 43.72. He's a member of that very special club of athletes over one lap who have broken 44 seconds. 35 years old now. Commonwealth champion and reigning African Games champion. He's a, got a wonderful temperament. He has, and his 200 meters is impressive as well, isn't it? 19.77, so sub 44 for the four and sub 20 for the 200. Um, <laughs> he looks like <laughs> he looks very relaxed as well, doesn't he? An interesting tactic to put him out on that lead leg, hopefully get them a lead, and the rest of the guys can go and hopefully have inspired runs and hold on to that front position. Tobias Langer there for Germany. Had some warm-up races in Gran Canaria recently. Indeed, many of the German athletes are training down in the Canaries in recent weeks for a bit of warmth. There's Benati. 46.3, his best from last year. Great Britain's uh, Joseph Breyer. Just 22 years old, coached by Matt Elias, who was a great 400-meter hurdler and a great relay runner himself just a few years ago. Season's best of 46.81, Breyer, this winter. And the Polish lead-off athlete... Kajetan Dzerzhinski, 45-9 performer. I was back in 2017, so when he was just 21. Former biathlete, by the way, is Dzerzhinski. He's got a place in the final in his sights. So the third and final heat of men's 4 by 400 meters relay then. Poland going three, Great Britain in four, Italy in five, Germany in six, Botswana in seven, and the first two go through by right. So away they go then, those long pink socks of uh, Benatti, the Italian, right in the center of the five. Uh, not hard to... Uh, miss are they not hard to spot i should say but mcquala has gone off hard this is what the botswana squad will have been hoping for build up a bit of a lead a bit of a cushion for his compatriots leungo scotch boy to masilo and ditiro nanzamani will be behind him but mcquala here having a great run the german is rallying to tobias langer just easing away from benati the italian that long flowing hair Great Britain going okay here. Joseph Breyer has run a solid leg. He hands over with the poles inside him. Dzerzhinski also having had a good leg. Competitive, isn't it? Behind Botswana, obviously, 10 meters or so lead, but all the other nations looking to break simultaneously there as Poland have just crept into that second place there. Kolak, strong, really tall competitor there for the Polish athletes, but uh, yeah, they're all really together aren't they really i'm just looking at james williams for great britain he just can't get past anybody as the german athlete is trying to come out wide so is the italian athlete and uh, it's all to run for here down this home straight well has the gamble paid off for the Botswana as they lead by a few meters here from the pack it's almost a middle distance race there in that second leg as they head out for leg three. Oh, and the brits have gone down and the third leg athlete kevin metzger has got a real challenge now the 23 year old He's way, way down, and that may have scuppered Britain's chances of a place in the final as uh, Botswana blast away out in front. Look at the tall German here, Torben Juncker, easing past. He's dwarfs the athletes from Italy and Poland there as he eases past and into second place. But this is surely a forlorn chase from Kevin Metzger. That was a real shame for the British quartet. Metzger there has got to, to carry on running hard, but it's a very, very tough ask for him, and indeed for Dwayne Cowan on the final leg. Botswana then hand over with about a 20-meter lead. The Italians have had a fi fabulous leg there from Brian Lopez. Poland in third, Germany in fourth, Great Britain bringing up the rear, and way, way back now as Metzger struggled down the home straight on his leg. But uh, it's academic, really, Great Britain. They're way, way off a qualifying spot as Botswana continue to lead 200 meters to run poland are chasing them down though italy in third germany in fourth and the gap is closing with every stride it's Ditiro and zamani 
for Botswana here on this final leg. 100 meters to run. Can he hang on? They're ranked 11th for Tokyo in a way, so Botswana is safe, surely, for the Olympic Games. And they're going to hang on, I think, as the Italians here, through Acetti, Vladimir Acetti, eases through to second place past Poland, shunted back to third, Germany in fourth, and Great Britain come home in fifth place. A real shame that for the British quartet. These things happen. It's part of the cut and thrust of relay racing. I'd like to see the incident again. I'm not quite sure what happened, but what a shame. Yeah, it was great, wasn't it? Um, you know, not great for Great Britain, of course, but we can say if they can, you know, take anything from that, they are qualified, of course, already for Tokyo. But the Italian competitor on that final leg at Chetty was fantastic to get past the poles. And it was Karol Zaleski as well. He was the lead leg runner in the 2018 World Indoor Championships when Poland broke the world indoor record. So he had an inspired run on that last leg. So here we are, we're just about seeing the incident. James Williams tries to come across, he tries to come across the German competitor and you can just see his legs just get